Today we're going to be looking at the 2020 December question stuck in a rut. So in this question, we have a 2D grid or a farm, and we have a bunch of cows who are going to be moving either to the right or up. Uh, what ends up happening is when cows move, they leave a path of eaten grass, and other cows who reach that eaten grass are forced to stop. At the end, we want to determine the stopping point or how long cows can go until they have to stop. So let's look at the algorithm for this question. So the first and most obvious solution is just to simulate. But what ends up happening is you only pass around half or a little bit more test cases if you simulate. So we're going to come up with a different solution. So in this solution, what we're actually going to do is we're going to first find all possible collisions. So what this means is we are going to basically say, if this cow is going to move down here, this cow is going to move here, this cow is going to move here, we know there are going to be collisions here and here. So the solution for this example would be this cow would move on forever and then these two would stop right here. But what ends up happening is we do have a small problem with this. And this is just, if we just simulate all of the collisions, we're going to come up with an error. So let's say in this example, this cow is going to move forward. And if I were just to simulate all collisions, I would say, okay, this cow is going to move here. This cow is going to move here. This cow is going to move here. And we're going to have collisions here and here. But this is going to be wrong. And the reason is, in this specific example, this cow is going to move forward. And they're just going to collide. So this cow is going to be moving first since it's closer. This cow is going to stop here. And what ends up happening is this cow is going to move on forever. So we need to come up with an order for collisions. So for this solution, we are going to first find all possible collisions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to schedule. So we are going to schedule the collisions. We're going to sort all of the collisions by what time they happen. An important observation note is that the cows moving to the east can only ever collide with the cows moving to the north. So this cow and this cow are able to collide. But if I have two cows both moving towards the east, there is no way they are going to collide. That is never going to happen. So we're going to use that in our program later on. So we're going to find all possible collisions, and then we are going to simulate. So I'm going to say, okay, I have all of these possible collisions. This is going to occur at time one. This is going to occur at time two. So we're going to keep a list. And what this list is basically going to contain is it's going to contain the time that these stop. So for every cow, we're going to have a time. And at first, these times are just going to be infinity. So everyone's going to have infinity. And then we're going to look at the first collision. So right here is the first collision. And what happens is this north cow is going to stop. So we're going to replace this north cow with time 1 because it collides at time 1. And then we're going to go to the next collision, which is here. And every time we do a collision, we're going to check whether or not both cows actually collide. So what this means is, let's say this is cow 1, cow 2, cow 3. So we're going to see this collision. And we're basically going to realize that since cow 1 stopped here, its stopping point is above the collision area, and therefore this collision is not actually going to happen. So what this means is that we're going to check whether or not this cow can collide, and since it doesn't actually reach this location, we know that this collision isn't possible. So I'm going to go over this more in the code, so we're going to go into that. So we're going to go over the code portion of this right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to read an input. So I have two main lists. We're going to have a north list and an east list. So this is going to be really important later on. Uh, we're going to split the cows based on whether or not they're moving to the north or to the east. So over here, we're just going to read it in. And then if the direction is north, they're going to go in the north list. Otherwise, they'll go in the east list. So now that we've read in the input, we are going to create the meeting times and the collisions. So again, I mentioned earlier that it's really important that only north cows are going to intersect with east cows. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for every north, for every pair of north cows and east cows, we're going to check whether or not they collide. So we're going to have an x time and a y time. And these are basically just the two possible collision times. If they're the same, we're going to continue because that just means that they're both going to reach the same patch of grass at the same time and the problem specifies that nothing's going to happen. Over here, we're going to check whether or not the north cow gets interrupted or the east cow gets interrupted. So for both of these cases, since they're bound to collide, 
we're going to push them in the meet time. At the end, we are going to sort the meet time, and this is just going to give us the sorted array for, the, for part two. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to move on to part two, and we are going to check all of the collisions. This is the harder part of the program. So we are going to create our answer set. Again, this is going to be the list of all of the times that the cows stop. And then we're going to loop through all of the times. So I'm going to loop through all of the events. And there are a couple cases that we can look through. The first case is just neither of them has been stopped. So if MT1 and MT2, so MT1 is going to be the cow that is supposed to collide and stop during this event. And MT2 is going to be the cow that causes MT1 to stop. I'm going to refer the, to them as 1 and 2. So if cow 1 and cow 2 are both infinity, that means neither of them has stopped yet. And since this event is a collision, that means cow 1 is going to be stopped and we're just going to continue. So that's the easier case. There's also a possibility that cow 1 has not been stopped, but cow 2 has already been stopped. So we need to deal with that. So if cow 1 has not been stopped yet, then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check whether or not it's an east cow. So MT3 is going to tell us whether or not it's east. And if it is, we are going to create our case. So we're just going to check whether or not it can be stopped. And the way we're going to check this, this code, what it basically means is cow 2, we know that cow 2 is going to stop at some point. So all we have to do is check whether or not cow 2 stops at a point where it is still able to stop cow 1. So if cow 2's path is still able to stop cow 1, then we are going to mark it as stopped. If not, that just means that cow 2 has already stopped and cannot block cow 1, and we're just going to finish. So this does address our problem and our test case that we mentioned earlier. And then we're going to do the same thing if it's facing north, and this has slightly different requirements, but it also checks whether or not cow 2 is capable of stopping cow 1. And that's the bulk of the program. At the very end, we're just going to print out whether or not the cows were stopped. And then if you remember, we set our answer values to INF. So if it's still infinity, then we're just going to print infinity. Otherwise, we're just going to print the answer.